Hello and welcome to the Building Sheriff Tips and Tricks Like a Pro. Today we are going to be doing, one second. Right, it's locked down. Everybody is probably painting their woodwork, their doors, gloss paint, um, exterior, what have you. And then you end up with a brush like this and you are not sure how to clean it properly. Well, I'll show you. White Spirit. Couple of jars. and a scraper. Okay. And of course, a paint tray, which I think is the most important thing. So let's have a go. Here we go. So, a bit of white spirit into the jar. Don't need too much. This will just loosen up what you've got on the brush, first of all. So just have a bit of a clean like that. Can you see, work it in, work it right down push the stock right down, the stock being that bit. Okay, there we go. Now, you'll see lots of videos that will suggest now using tissue or paper towels, that's absolutely fine. However, my tip here is to use a paint tray and a scraper and you start pushing away all of the detritus. So you're gonna get all of this bit here that's built up paint and I don't really think that you can get rid of that if you just use a paper towel to pull it all away so what you do is that's that's number one okay and then back into the spirit and then what we're going to do is empty that out and then we're going to use a bit more white spirit so listen it's up to you how you do it I pour mine into my paint tray because I'm then going to pour that back in I'll show you a tip at the end so we use a bit more clean white spirit there we go not too much and off we go again right really working that in as you can see now rather than being white already most of the paints out and key this is called the stock and they're the bristles obviously this bit normally gets gunged up and if you can get all of that off and you do that with a scraper look on the end of there you can see all of that all that rubbish that you don't need okay so we're going to go again and what this does is if you get dust or detritus or anything this will get stuck in those bristles and that could easily just stay in there and you, you can't get rid of it but like this that will come out so here we go keep doing that and hey, wash that out a bit. Let's get rid of this white spirit. Notice we haven't been using too much and we'll go for one third and final go. That's it. An inch, half an inch of white spirit. Okay, we'll now get rid of, there we go, have a look in there. Okay, that is really cleaning up nicely. Okay, we keep going. and we'll set that to one side. And the next thing to do is follow me inside. So fairy liquid, run. I use a bit of warm, a bit of cold. Take your brush, fairy directly onto the bristles. And we start working this in. Now the problem you always have with cleaning these brushes is oil and water don't mix. Now fairy obviously being a detergent, which is a wetting agent, allows the oil and water to mix and then it can run off. So look, that's the first lot. What you should do is work everything in and then squeeze like that and squeeze all the paint, all the white spirit out of there. Okay, keep your hands clean. Make sure the wife's not around when you do this because, well, she probably won't be too happy. So clear up afterwards. And on there, a bit more fairy. And I rub that into my open palm rub it into my open palm that way and then to the side so you're working all four sides all four faces that face that face that face that face don't forget to clean the stock because that can get gunged up with paint okay nearly there we're going to have one more go okay so it might seem like you're using a lot of fairy but if you get an expensive brush 10 pound brush it's worth 
spending the time cleaning it. And the thing about gloss brushes is that the more you use them, the better they get. So obviously up to a point, but as long as you look after them, these bristles, all the, all the bristles you don't need fall out and you get a lovely, lovely finish from these used brushes. So there we go, rub that into your palm and the other side, that side, that side, clean the stock, look how clean that stock is. Okay, and then give it a good squeeze and then look, water in like that and I, I let the water fill up the stock and then squeeze here and all of the stuff we don't want flies out of the top like a mini jet. Okay. So, how does that look? Okay, let's go back outside and I'll show you another thing. Okay, this is a good little tip. So, once you've got your brush clean like that, obviously, you know, we all know about doing this to get rid of the water. Get an old pair of shoes, your, your work shoes, look at these, the dogs had them. And then with your stock hitting the side of your shoe, okay, give that a whack. There's your paint, do that so you don't get in trouble. And you have a clean brush. Now, I just recommend taking a, an elastic band. I don't want to have one to hand, but we all know what they are. Putting one around there, and then you store that nicely and Bob's your uncle. There we have a clean brush. Now, as you'll see, we have white spirit in here. Now, um, obviously we've all got to watch out how we deal with this. I pour this into my jar, as, like so. Get everything there. This I'll wipe around with some tissues. That gets thrown away. This, now, this isn't my tip, so I'll put a link in the description of Charlie D.I. White, who um, alerted me to this. If you leave this white spirit, might have to leave it four or five days, you'll find that the paint will sink to the bottom and a white spirit will go to the top and you'll just be able to pour that white spirit and use it again. So again, Charlie D.I. White's tip, which I think is absolutely excellent. Now one quickie, take a look at this. Brush mate, what's this? Inside, you will see brushes. See, there's a pad here. Now that produces a vapor. How this works is you use a gloss brushes and then, see, I used that on a job recently. It goes straight in here, no cleaning, no washing up. The vapor sends its vapor out. You put the lid on, that keeps it sealed. And that allows you to leave your brushes stored for well, it depends how many times you open the lid, but I've had them, I've had that for a year and I've not washed any of those brushes up and I haven't had to replace the vapor pad yet. When you do, this vapor pad just comes straight out, as you see, and it costs three or four pounds. This thing, I'll put a link into the description, is about 20 quid's worth, but it saves you so much time and trouble not having to wash your brushes up. Anyway, I've been the Building Sheriff. Take care.